Phantoms four, Swindon Wildcats three. Great home victory for the, the good guys. And I'm uh, happy to be lucky to be joined by uh, Tom Norton. It's on first interview of the season. Uh, great home victory, never in doubt. Definitely had to work for it. Um, we knew coming into the game again, you know, no excuses or anything like that, that we're, we're body short. So it was going to take a real team effort tonight to, to buy him. They're a high skilled team. You know, they only had uh, Malazinski missing, but you know, they've got guys that can then jump into the lineup there and you can kind of feel like they're not missing them as well. So we knew we had to play a certain way tonight and um, it was good to be on the right end of the result. And it's been a, a tough start to the season in many ways, five games in before tonight and two victories. And we, we'd so much wanted to, to get a start on the season. Injuries. Uh, and I, I was talking to the guys last week and saying that you don't expect to start the, the season with so many people down. And, uh, and, and, and obviously home, you want to perform in front of your home fans. And Luke takes that five minute penalty to, to start the game. So we're on the penalty kill, which I thought was a really strong penalty kill for four minutes and 33, something like that. But they, they scored and then it set the tone for the period. No, I agree. Like, you know, Luke came out, you know, was trying to set the tone. Yeah. You know, it's, it's one of those things. Um, ref made its call. That's it. We had to kill the penalty. And like you say, I think for four minutes 30 there, we killed really, really well. And you know, it's a long time to kill a penalty yeah. as well. So. For a five minute penalty there to keep them only to one goal, I think we could really build off that. And, you know, I feel like we did. You know, maybe the first period didn't go quite our way, but then we, you know, got into the second period and found our feet. And then, you know, the third period was, you know, just about shutting them down, really, and just frustrating them, which I think we did really well. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I must have asked you before, but I'm not, I, I don't know whether Slava does the hairdryer at the end or whether there was even any need for the hairdryer at the end of the first period. We, we had six shots on goal. Obviously, there's a five-minute killer in that, so it's going to affect the, those kind of stats. But uh, we, we f it felt to me that we were a bit off the pace in the first. Um, you know what? I think at the same time, you know, Slava's very real with the situation that we are in. You know, nobody wants to be this many bodies down at the start of the year. Nobody wants to be losing games. But the games that we have been losing, I think we've been we've been in the games. You know, we've been losing by one goal or an empty net goal here. So, you know, it was it's only a matter of time before it starts turning our way and body and bodies start coming back. And you know, we'll be able to start playing the hockey that we want to play. Crazy second period in, in many ways. I mean, it starts two 0 down and finishes four three. Uh, lots of penalties either side, but uh, I, I, I know I've, I've kind of primed you for it in a way, but uh, are you more pleased with the, the final period where we shut out completely and, and, and effectively control the game or that or that turnaround in the second? You know, the turnaround in the second was really good and pleasing to see, especially then to get the power play clicking a little bit, a few set plays here and there and get us on the board. But yeah, I think the buy-in, you know, full 60 minutes of, um, of play there to finish the third period and really frustrate a team of um, quality like that. You know, we had to take pride in our performance there and um, it was what it was going to take to get it across the line. Yeah, and uh, an important victory against a team that have just beaten last year's league champions uh, last night and, uh, and, and look like they're going to be strong. Big weekend next weekend? Yeah, huge weekend. Um, you know, we can only take the weekends as they come and hopefully, you know, bodies start to come back. But... You know, we've got guys that are playing up the lineup a little bit, probably not in the position that they probably would have been if we had a full strength team. So it's good experience for them and it's only going to benefit the team as we move forward as well. And hopefully, yeah, when we get bodies back, we can really show the league what we're capable of. Right. But my, my honest opinion is that, you know, like I say, we're, we're going for three trophies and that's what we want. You know, we're, we're still in touching distance to that right now. We're 50% hockey club, but, you know, Swindon were top of the league, I think. Yep. For tonight and nine points and... You know, that moves us to six. I don't know what else has happened around the league, but we're still very much in that in that hunt. And, um, you know, like I say, when we've got these bodies back, hopefully we can really show the league what we're capable of. Smashing. Well, great performance tonight. Uh, one that the, play the players can be really proud of. And, and you saw the response from the fans at the end of the game. Great stuff. We'll see you next week. Uh, brilliant. Thank Cheers. You.